Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a brand new QNAP switch. It's a new one for their range of managed affordable switches and it's one that takes advantage of 2.5 GBE and 10 GBE. Today I want to talk about the QSW M2108 dash 2s or 2c and you're right model ids really are getting out of hand but they all do mean something what i can tell you about this device right now straight from the qnap live stream there there's a lot to be taken right now and in terms of their managed switches this is probably one of my favorites out there because it takes advantage of a lot of the modern innovations from qnap that they've kind of developed in these range of managed switches to extend into their network portfolio but on top of that it brings a lot of new things to the table. So it's got, for a start, eight 2.5 GBE ports, which is great to hear. When they released that five port switch a little while ago, the QSW11055T, that's right, super cool dude I am. Um, when they released that five port unmanaged switch, one of my biggest criticisms about it in my hardware reviews was simply that it's very, very good and it does bring it, or it brought a five port 2.5 GBE standard network switch environment, but it seemed a little pricey. And the fact that it was unmanaged was very, very disappointing because if you've got a multi-port 2.5 GBE switch, you want to lag the hell out of that. You want to combine all of those ports and get those larger bandwidth speeds to the users that can take advantage or to a pool of users. Now, this device with its eight 2.5 GBE ports and its managed architecture means you can map those together and you are looking at a potential 20 GBE if you lag those together. Don't get me wrong, it's going to be tough to do that because obviously you have broken these down into 2.5 GBE and you need systems to take advantage of that. But at the same time, there are ways and means for users to take advantage of increased network speeds like that 5 GBE to USB adapter. And there are 2.5 GBE versions out there as well that allow bog standard users who have just got a laptop or even a, po a host system that can't upgrade and simply using a USB port have access to those larger speeds. And the ability to lag these ports into the devices that can take advantage of them, again, like QNAP NAS is, like, if I can pick it up correctly without bashing it on the floor, like the 53D series mean that with this, with its two 2.5 GBE ports, you can get that 5 GBE out of that. Now, it has those eight 2.5 GBE ports, as mentioned, or 2.5 G. I know someone's going to rag me in the comments over that. But on top of that, the two versions of this switch both arrive with twin 10 GBE ports by default. There's one version that's got two SFP plus or fiber 10 GBE ports, and another one that technically has four ports, two of them, SFP plus and two of them 10G base T copper, but they are combo ports and you can only use one either both the SFPs or one of each or both the uh, copper ports. Nevertheless, this is a switch that is managed that has those eight 2.5G ports and two 10GB ports. It even has a dedicated RJ45 config port that can be utilized and connected to your modem or let's be realistic, your wireless router. Now, this managed switch does come with a few features that we've already seen before in this series. The white chassis there, and again, I know isn't for everyone, but I can tell you that I do genuinely use one of these myself. They are like whisper quiet. They don't have a fan inside, and I quite like that rotational PSU on the rear that moves around so the cable can be more manageable. Because again, those that watched my 2.5 GBE unmanaged switch review you will know that my other criticism of that device other than being a pinch too expensive was terrible PSU placement on it with it on the front next to the other ports and it made it un, un, unruly in the uh, office space this is much much better and I've always liked that rotational PSU it seems a bit quirky but I do genuinely like the fact that wherever you deploy it at the back or the front or you're on the fly and you're sort of creating a desk space that rotational PSU generally one of the most annoying parts is easily resolved. I know it seems like I'm overselling a PSU, but it is genuinely a nice feature. Um, now, the software capabilities of this, we have already looked at QSS before. That's QNAP's own um, switch management software, QSS uh, management. And again, you are talking virtual LAN configuration creation. You are talking link aggregation and port trunking, as well as load balancing. You are talking 
um, loop detection, you're talking port uh, mirroring, port failover, then protection for DDoS, you are talking about ACL control to a degree. You have all of those features in this layer two managed switch. Now we don't have a price, which is super annoying, because I do genuinely like these switches and it's one of the things that is less of a passion project and more something I genuinely think a lot of people could get, get behind because it's a, a switch in most of our network environments is woefully overlooked, not just in terms of control and security with a number of us kind of leaning heavily on our routers to take care of that sort of thing. But on top of that, switches have advanced a great deal over the years and a lot of companies out there, and I'm looking at you Netgear, have put your feet up a bit. You know, it, this does arrive with a two-year warranty, which I find a little disappointing, given that Netgear are still chugging out lifetime warranties for their products. But what I will say is you get so many more features and functionality out of this device. It even promises an 80 gigabit per second uh, bandwidth maximum, which I don't know how this machine is ever going to achieve that, given it only has around 40 gigabits per second throughput potential as it is you'd have to uh, you know dual lane those massively even to hit that target so you're not going to have limitations in, for, in terms of network handling internally and you have all of those managed switch features and functionality to help you along the way too it is an impressive device and given its entry into the affordable range of devices given the model id that qswm uh, and the fact that it is in that chassis, to me, suggests this will be an affordable switch. We just don't know the price right now. And of course, as soon as we have one, we will do a hardware review here on the channel. But if you want to learn more about this device, then do click subscribe as I update you on a lot of these devices. And do visit the links in the description about uh, where there will be links to both Span.com for 25 years to 25 years in the business of NAS and 30 years in the business of data storage to help you choose the right switch for you and the links to nascompares.com where i can show you guys everything you can do with these devices not just nas but das thunderbolt storage overall and click like if you enjoyed the video because it really helps i will see you next time